So in an earlier video, I redid the battery tray as good as I could for what was left, sealed all the rust, got it all back together, and made this insert for inside the tray. In this episode, I'm going to take this 51R battery I've been using, and I'm going to make a new hold down for it that works on the stock tray. So what I've got here is I've got a 3D printed in PETG Honda S2000 battery hold down which is the same as the Civic hold down, which fits perfectly on top of these 51R batteries because that's what they're meant for. So what I'm thinking here is we've got one loop on the side of the tray factory that would hold the hold down for the Accord battery. And then we have one over here, which this one's pretty toast, it's flexible. We're gonna ignore that one. But this one, I think we can use that to hold down this side. This side, I'm thinking if we make a new stud or hook that goes through the bottom of the tray that hooks somewhere, then we can come up here and tighten this down. So half of our job is probably already done. I may have to cut down the factory stud a bit and dye it to be able to take a wing nut or something over here. But over here will be probably the main work will be on this. If you want to help support the channel, we do have a Throne Gifts and a coffee. It's on the top right of the Foxy's Retrofitting YouTube channel page. Any gifts or donations are greatly appreciated. As a matter of fact, if you have any suggestions, any parts or tools that you want me to look at, you can also submit gift suggestions on Throne as well. So after getting the hook and putting it back in, it does look like we are going to have to dye some threads on this because sitting low it's even way too far from the threads so we need about that many threads cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sharpie and I'm going to mark how far down the stud we need to go. And then that way we know how far to th make threads which will be about right here. There's a lot of threads missing so we'll have to thread the rod down to about there. We'll also need to get a rod for the other side, figure out how long that needs to be. I think something this long would work. That's good though, because I think I have another one of those that I can use. Not that same one, but of all thread. Okay, so I have this in line with where it needs to be according to this hook stud on that side. Now with the protector plate out and the battery sitting down, I can see where I need to drill my hole according to where this lands. So what I'm gonna do is, down here is the bottom of the plate, up here is where the strap goes over. So I'm gonna move this battery just a little bit to make it more even and realign this. Now that that's aligned, I'm gonna hold the strap and back this out. So now I'm gonna hold it with my thumb. I'm gonna put the stud down here. I'm gonna get it lined up with where I could drill a hole and I'm going to turn it to mark the spot. Now we've got a spot marked. I'm going to take a sharpie and circle that spot. So now we know. So now I can take all this back out. So we'll take the battery out and now we look back at where we marked. Okay so I don't know if the camera can see it. I can see it. It may not. But there's a sharpie dot right here cool thing about this is that I can reach my hand under here and I can reach that which means right there could be drilled and we can put something here to be able to hold one of those rods. So I found exactly what we needed. The thread on this rod, the stock hooked rod, is an M6 thread. So I have this M6 metric all thread rod that I have left over. If you've watched my earlier videos this is what I fixed the uh, stripped out thermostat housing with on the 2000 Civic. I had some of this still left around because I ordered extra just in case. And this will come in handy as a perfect second rod for this. I gotta find some washers. We got a number eight drill bit that I'll use to drill the hole and everything will go together. Okay, so our hole's drilled. See if the hole's big enough. We could practically thread that hole. So I think I'm gonna do that just for the extra advantage because I'm gonna put some washers and nuts under the bottom and on top. And I think it'd be a real good advantage to have that hole threaded as well. So I'm gonna need a metric six 
M61, there it is. Run the tap through here. There it goes. And in theory, yes, that gives me extra control over where I get to put that. And now I've got some washers. What I can do here is I can take a washer and a nut and put it on the bottom. There's a very, very finite amount of room underneath this tray. So I'm having to be real careful. I don't know if there's enough room for a washer under here. Shit, I dropped it. Okay, it does not look like I'm going to be able to get a washer underneath there. So I'll just do the nut. There's just enough room to put the nut there. So I thread it through the metal and through that nut. And the thread in the plate up here will keep the stud there until I know exactly how high I'm going to need it. So we'll put our battery back in next to it. And that would sit about there. So it could go down a bit. Now I'm going to run the nut down here up. Now I can take a washer and a nut and drop it down here. This is going to be a while. Okay, so that nut is a 10 millimeter. So I got a 10 millimeter wrench. And that's on there. So now that that's there, we got to figure out where to put the hole in this for that to come through. So in between this template and this piece, we can figure out where that hole is. Another way to do it would have been to put it down before the stud goes in and try to mark it with a marker, but there just wasn't enough space for me. As off by just a little bit. And it needs to be that way. After looking at it, the nut where this stud goes uh, doesn't actually interfere with my battery. So I'm actually going to just cut this whole slot out so the nut can actually fit over that. So I went ahead and cut a slot for the nut to fit in here. So now everything fits in the way that it should. And now I should be able to die the stud for this side and then it all fit together correctly. So if I put my battery in, next step is going to be tapping this stud so that I can line it up with that one. May have to cut this one down a bit, but that's okay. So like a lot of things in life, time, patience, and lube, I got that stud dyed all the way down to where I can throw a nut on it and tighten it down. I got this side hooked up with a new nut and washer on it, and that's stable. Here's what the side view looks like. Got a really good amount of clearance here, and since this won't be going anywhere, we'll have to worry about it hitting the air filter. All that's left is finishing touches. So now that the stud's been cut down, I can take my wrench and I can back the nut off of it and it will recut the thread so that the thread's perfect. Just like that. Boom. It threads directly on there. There's my new battery hold down. And I now no longer have to use a ratchet strap to secure my battery in place. Also, depending on where you are, these batteries may be cheaper than the large batteries the Accords come with. As far as the strap goes, I'll probably sand this one down, paint it blue, and put a logo on it. Uh, depending on how it works, I may upgrade to an aluminum one later, but if it holds up, it's a battery strap. And for anyone interested, I'll leave a link to the Thingiverse files for this particular strap in the description if anybody else wants to use it. There's a few different ones, uh, different varieties on the original strap. All the ones I found could all be found on Thingiverse.